Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be playing around with these new um, eyeshadow toppers from Barry M. So they're the holographic eyeshadow topper. Um, now, Emily from Ethical M, or that's her blog name, um, asked if I tried them yet. She had a couple of them and she said they're really, really nice. So they come in four shades. So you've got um, Supernova, you have Asteroid, Luna and Stardust. Obviously I'm going to get them out and swatch them for you so you can see them properly. So they have four shades. They aren't the most, they're kind of like fun, colourful shades going on. Iridescent. I don't know if they're actually holographic or if they're just iridescent to be honest. I know there's kind of, um, they're kind of different things. But I thought I would play around with them, swatch them, see what they look like on. Um, they are... Four ninety nine each, so that's really not expensive at all. Um, it says you can apply directly to your eyelids or over your favourite eyeshadows with its smooth, non-sticky formula. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to excited to play around. So I'm going to um, swatch them all, apply them without any eyeshadow, and then I'm going to come up with four different looks using each of the colours. So let's open these up and have a little look and see what they're like. So I'm going to start with number one, which is Supernova. Okay, so to me, Supernova, I mean, it's got a range of colours in there, but it's mainly green. There's a bit of gold, but then there's a bit of purple and blue in there as well. Kind of like an oil slick looking um, colour. So it comes on a little uh, doe foot applicator like this. Let's get some on. Yeah, so it's definitely more green based that one. It kind of looked a bit blue and purple in the tube as well. But that's a really pretty, yeah, kind of greeny blue colour. So let's go with number two. Again, this kind of looks like an oil slick, this one as well. So this is the shade Asteroid. If you can see in the bottle. It does kind of have that oil slick look about it with the colours. Oh, this one's a lot, looks a bit more bluey purple. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. When I hold it here, it looks purple to me, but on camera, it looks blue. But if you look, like, if I was to look from it from the side, I don't know if you can see. No, to me, it looks purple, but on camera, it's definitely got that blue going on. So that's kind of, yeah. Maybe it would show up the different colours on my eyes more. So let's go with number three. This is Luna. Um, a bit more of a purple blue. See, some of these do look a bit similar in the um, containers. Like the first two looked were kind of similar. Go they both kind of looked oil slicked like, but obviously as you saw on, my, on the back of my hand, they look completely different. Okay, so this is Luna. This is like, like I said, more blue purple going on. Kind of similar to, what was it, Asteroid? Okay. Yeah, so that's definitely a bit more bluey purple than the previous one. They do look beautiful. This one actually looks a bit more pink in certain lights on my hand. I think, again, it's one of those things that it looks completely different there, but when I look at them directly, it's weird, yeah. In the different lights, it's definitely different colours, but whether you can see that or not, I don't know. Oh, hang on. And the final shade in the collection is Stardust, so number four, Stardust. And again, this looks like a purple or a pinky based colour. So that's what it looks like in the tube. Oh, I'm attached. Okay, so this is... Stardust. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's got a bit more purple to it. So I guess in direct light like this, this looks more kind of goldy green. That's kind of like a almost a turquoise. That's a bit more blue, purple, and that's definitely a bit more pinky purple. But yeah, they look really pretty. So I'm going to attempt to create four different looks of these. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to apply them first. Ooh. Okay, so obviously this one's been on for a while. And it has dried. It does come off though if I rub it like that. Okay, that one's definitely going to come off and the last one will. Just pick a fresh finger. Okay, yeah, so they will, if you rub them, they do start to come off. But they do dry down. So as long as you're not rubbing your eyes, I'm guessing they're going to last right quite well. Maybe I'll have to let you know the longevity on my on the description bar. But that is pretty. Okay. So next I'm going to apply them. I've got nothing on my lids right now. Um, I even decided not to put any eye concealer or powder on because um, I want to see a true colour on my lids. And then I will go ahead and try and create four different looks using each of the eyeshadows. Um, so let's swatch these on my eyes. I might put two on each eye just so you can see them. So let's start with Supernova first. Which is kind of a goldy green looking one. Let's start popping them on. I like the dough for applicator, it's very soft. And very pretty. That looks really pretty. It's really easy to apply. I say it's really quite pigmented. You could go in another layer, but I think you might want to let that dry first. So maybe I'll come back in a second once I've applied the rest and I'll go in the second layers to see if you can build up. But it's really, really pretty. And as you can see, alone, it works really nicely on the eyes. That's the Supernova. So let's go in with Asteroid, which is the next one I swatched on the back of my hand. So this one here. I'm just going to put this right next to it, just so we can see. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, because there are little bits of glitter in here and you cannot feel that at all. The thing I will say is, um, like I said, if you want to build them up, I do think you need to let them dry because if you go into one place too much to swipe, it kind of starts bringing it off. So I feel like you put a layer down, you're going to let it dry and then put it on top. But it does look very pigmented with that one layer. Um, so let's try out the other two. So let's go with Luna. Stick Luna in me in the corner. Yeah, so I think to initially apply, you can just go with a slight swiping motion. And actually, you can be quite precise with your placement with this dough fabricator. It's not too big. Where it takes up your entire lid. So you could go in that like half cut crease type situation. It'd be interesting to see how they work over the top of an eyeshadow and whether the colour will change. So that's Luna, like I said, it's kind of more on the blue side with a hint of purple. When in person it does, I can see on camera it looks completely different, which is so weird. Maybe when the, um, I put eyeshadows underneath, that might change how it looks. But still a really beautiful colour. And then finally, let's put Stardust. This is more, I'd say, with the pinky purple colour. So it looks very purple in person. I think it's the angle I'm looking at it in comparison to how it's being on the camera. I mean, that's an equally beautiful colour. I think I'm strangely drawn to these two colours over here. I like the green and I like the blue colour. I think I really like the blue actually. The green. These are really pretty. Oh, something I want to quickly do is if I just look up. 
Okay, so you do get, you kind of need to let them, I guess, dry before really opening up your eyes as they will transfer slightly. Um, I mean, it only transfer on this side, but that's because that's the most co recent colour. So, so far I'm impressed. Like I said, I feel like if you want to add another layer, you either need to let it dry or just pat on with the, or kind of dab on, because you can start moving the product around. And again, they will um, transfer until they're completely dry. Like this side is now I can touch it and it's completely dry. Let me just give it a rub. Okay, so you really, you can't rub the product because it will start to come off. Um, so I will say that as well. Now I need to come up with four different looks using these. I've got quite a few things in mind. I'm going to do definitely a half cut crease on these. Um, a halo eye. And yeah, just have a little play around and see what looks I can come up with using these. Okay, so for look number one, I'm taking the naked, Pretty Naked One palette from Hunsent Pure and taking that lighter shade and buffing it just all over the lid using my Hunsent Pure E40 brush. And then I'm going to take the darker shade, darker brown shade from this and I'm going to start applying this to the outer section of my lid. Again, using the exact same brush that I used before. Then I'm going to go to the Naked 2 palette from Hunsent Pure and taking that middle shade and just kind of building up the outer corner so kind of creating a gradient effect in the outer corner of my lid. And now I'm taking the really dark shade on a slightly smaller shading brush and just really packing it onto the outer portion of the lid. And then I go ahead and I do blend it out using my E40 brush and a little bit of um, the shade we used before this, that kind of dark brown shade. And then I'm taking the um, highlighter from this palette and I'm just using this for the inner section of my lid. So I'm kind of creating that really classic smoky eye gradient look. And then making sure everything is blended together. And then taking that really dark purple shade I used for the very outer corner and running this along my lower lash line. And this is where I'm going to go in with Stardust from the Barry M collection. And I run this along the lower lash line as well as a pop of colour underneath there. So this is kind of look number one. Something you just add a pop of colour to the eye. It's nothing over the top or dramatic. If you're someone who likes to experiment, who wants to experiment sorry, with colour but doesn't know how to, this is quite a good way of adding a pop of something without it being over the top. And then I'm just going to go in mascara with the upper and lower lashes just to finish off this look. So I keep it very neutral on top and then going quite fun underneath, so kind of a bottom heavy eye look. It's a very beautiful colour. So on to look number two. I'm taking the Lilo Miami Beach bronzer to act as my transition shade for this look. I'm using my E40 Hunsent Pure brush again. So for this look, it's gonna be my halo eye look. And I'm gonna go quite colorful with this. So I'm gonna take my Neve Cosmetics palette, taking this blue shade here, and I'm gonna pack this onto the outer and inner portion of my lid. Leaving a gap in the middle for my halo section, or spotlight section. Then taking the dark purple shade and again popping this on the outer and inner corner but I'm not going as far in as I took the um, blue shades, so kind of great, creating a gradient effect as again. I do get a little bit of fallout with this but I'll just sweep it away afterwards. Then I'm taking, going to a different Neve Cosmetics palette, this is, I think it's called Makeup Delight. And taking the dark blue shade there and really packing this on the outer section and I also pop it in the inner section as well just to add to the gradient effect. And then for the fun part, for this I'm taking the shade Luna and I'm just popping this in the centre bit, so where we left the gap to create that halo slash spotlight eye effect. It really does leave a beautiful kind of wet finish to the eye, which I really like, but it does dry down.
But I'm taking this blue shade here and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. And I'm going to take some of that purple shade from the exact same palette again, but more focus this on the outer and inner section of the eye. Again, as you see, I do get some fallout, but that's fine, I just clear it away. And actually, I thought I went too low down with these colours, so I actually took some concealer and dragged it under my eye, just so it can help clean up the mess I've made, and also um, get rid of any eyeshadow that I didn't want. And kind of neaten up as well. Then I'm taking the lunar shade again, I pop it in the centre bit of the lower lash line to create the halo look under there. And I also popped a little bit in the inner corner as well. And then going with my mascara, just give my upper and lower lashes a good couple of coats. This one kind of gives me mermaid feels, this um, makeup look. So that's this one complete. So a halo, colourful eye. Really beautiful, I mean these are perfect for halo eyes, just a pop of um, something in the middle. So for look number three I'm going with my ABH Modern Renaissance palette, taking that shade there, it's kind of like a lilac-y taupe shade, and popping this into the crease and above to act as my transition shade. And then I'm going to go with a Love Letter, which is a beautiful pink shade, and I'm going to pop this onto the outer portion of the lid. I actually wanted to go, I wanted deep greens for this next look, but I couldn't find any deep greens, so I thought let's do something a bit more contrasting, which is why I'm going with the pink tones, um, as you'll see, and a kind of a bluey uh, eye topper. So I take Venetian Red, and I pop this over the top and kind of bring it across the lid section as well. And now to finish off, I'm taking, I think this is Cypress Umber, um, which is a really dark brown shade. I could be wrong. I'm packing this onto the outer corner, and then I'm using Love Letter to help blend that out. And I am winging out this eye look as well. So for this look, I'm using Asteroid, kind of a bit more icy blue colour, I guess. I'm going to pop this in the inner corner and kind of create that half cut crease, except not really. Um, with this look but it's perfect for doing this with just the doe applicator makes this bit perfect and like you see it's a very contrasting colours with the pinky red tones and this blue but I think it actually looks really beautiful and like I said I think this is my favourite colour of all the Barry M Hollow um, eye toppers. I do go in with another coat once it's dried just to kind of really intensify it and then once it's dried again I go back in with some of the um, Venetian Red just to kind of diffuse out the edges so it looks less harsh and then go in with some mascara on the upper lashes So yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite looks out of the four I've created. I just think it's really fun. Like I said, slightly contrasting colours um, with the blues and the reds. But I think it worked really lovely and like I said, I think this might be my favourite um, Barry M eye topper as well. So for look number four, I'm going with my Nip and Fab palette, taking this orange shade first, buffing it all over the lid and into the crease to act as my transition shade. Then taking this brown shade and kind of doing the same, but I don't try not to bring it quite as high up as I brought the orange shade. So this is going to be all about kind of building up a gradient effect of deep brown colours. So with this one, I actually took it on a flat brush to begin with, but then I switched it to my E40 brush, as I found it just gave a better blend um, than that flat brush. And I go in with one final dark brown shade just to create this really nice smoky eye. And I wanted it all to be matte apart from the Barry M eye topper we're about to use. And then I'm going back in with a bit more of the orange shade just to really help buff everything out and wing it out as well. And then I actually take some of this, uh, okay, so I say I keep it on matte, I actually took a bit of this shimmery shade just to pop in the inner corners of my eyes. And then to finish off, I'm using the one that's called Supernova. And I decided I wanted to try and create a wing liner with this, so I'm taking it on an angled brush and I'm using it as I would a liquid liner or a gel liner. And I actually think it worked beautifully 
well. Um, it was really easy to apply and looked stunning I thought. I did go in with two layers as you'll see I kind of after I applied my mascara I felt I needed to go in with a bit more to make it a bit more intense but I found it really easy to use as a liner and I think it looks really cool as well. So this is me just applying my mascara to my upper lashes. And then like I said, I did go back in with the supernova colour, I just wanted to really intensify it and make it really stand out against the kind of matte brown background of my eye. And that is look number four complete. So that is my four looks using these Barry M uh, eye toppers. So I started taking off my makeup and realised I hadn't given my final thoughts on um, these eye toppers. I have to say I think they're really lovely products. Um, they're a lot of fun to play with. They're not the most wearable everyday colours, admittedly, but if you're looking for something a bit more colourful or for going out or whatever, I think these are really lovely products. Considering they're only £4.99, they're cruelty free and vegan, I don't think you can go wrong. I don't know how much product you're going to get out of this. How much is in here? It doesn't say, so I don't know how long they're going to last for, but because they're not an everyday wearable colour, you're not going to use them that often. And you can create different looks using them. I have to say, I really liked, um, my, my two favourite were the kind of half cut crease type look, although it wasn't really. Because I like the combination I did, so the kind of more pinky, ready tones with um, something a bit more was blue. So slightly contrasting, I thought it looked really cool, and I really like doing using it um, as wing liner. I thought that looked really cool, and I know festival season's coming up, so these will be really good for that. Two things I will say about them is that um, I mean the pigment is enough for one layer, but if you did want to build up, you either need to let them dry and then go in another layer, or you need to dab the second layer on if the underneath layer is still wet only because then it starts picking up the product underneath and the second thing is for like things like the halo eye look and even the uh, half cut crease you have to kind of let the um, product dry again before popping eyeshadow just to kind of mesh the two the eye topper with the eyeshadow only because if it's still um, slightly wet and tacky the eyeshadow that you pop on top will go a bit darker than where it's like on the rest of the lid just because it's it's wet now um, so it just darkens the colour slightly so that's just something to be aware of but apart from that I think these are really lovely products I'm definitely going to be playing around with these again um, I think my favourite colour is Asteroid so that's the one I use for the half cut crease I just think it's a really beautiful colour I mean they're all beautiful colours but that's probably my favourite one out of the four um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video I hope maybe you found it helpful if you want to have your eye on these and whether you should get them or not and I really hope you enjoyed the four looks I tried to come up with using this so, so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video